Pueblo nonprofit is having to make cuts to their food distribution program because of high demand. Our Devin Karp has more on what it means for their clients and how the nonprofit plans to move forward. It's not an uncommon sight to see cars in line wrapped around Pueblo Co-op's building waiting for food and other services. Services, they tell me, are just growing in demand. I, yes, I know a lot of people that come here. For the last three years, Patricia Garcia has been stopping by the Pueblo Co-op to get food for her family twice a month to help make ends meet. Times are hard, you know, inflation, everything's so expensive and, you know, towards the end of the month, beginning of the next month, you know, resources are you know, hard to come by. That's something the Pueblo Cooperative Care Center is feeling too, as they help more people now than ever. Uh, we're not in jeopardy, but at the same time, we're feeling the same pains that our clients are feeling across the boards. Staff at the nonprofit say they're now serving double the amount of people they helped back in 2020, and now have to change food distribution schedules. Clients will only be able to receive food donations once a month now, instead of twice. We would love to be able to keep up the uh, level of operations that we have been because we've always prided ourselves on being the biggest responder in the community. The nonprofit has gone from giving out 80 bags of food a day to more than 400. They blame inflation, smaller donations from community churches, and a reduction in SNAP benefits from 2023. Uh, that brought thousands of individuals and families to our doors because that's the first line of defense in food insecurity. And with that weakening, they had to come out to us for additional help. They think the issue won't be going away soon. It's a problem whether we address it or not. But won't interrupt other services they provide, like mobile showers, clothes, ID assistance from the DMV, and their Nutrition on Wheels program for seniors. Working to keep people like Patricia fed year round. You know, there's a lot of people that work. I work and I still need help. To sign up for any of the resources you saw in this story, you can visit our website, koa.com. In Pueblo, I'm Devin Karp, News 5.